Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Preston here from PrestonsCorner.com. And today I'm gonna to tell you something really, really important. I'm gonna tell you the three best ways, the three plugins, three tools that you can use to start building your list, okay? These are some of the best plugins. I've used all three of them. They are the best on the market. So in this video, I'm gonna go through some of the pros and cons, the differences between these three plugins and how you can use them to build your list here. So, Number one is Thrive Leads. Now Thrive, they have a whole a whole suite of uh, plugins and tools, but Thrive Leads has to be my favorite. Thrive Leads, it's endorsed by people like John Lee Dumas. I'm just kind of scrolling through their page here so you can see they've got all these different things that are great. They got the pop-up, the sticky ribbon, the inline forms, the multi-step opt-ins. They really understand the whole conversion optimization aspect of pop-ups, not just having a pop-up, but having pop-up with different stages, you can say, do you want to build your business online? Yes or no? And, no? and then the no can say something like, no, I don't want to build a business online, or no, I hate making money, something cheeky like that. But then once users click yes, you can then ask for their email. And it integrates with all the major autoresponders. You can do a lot of really cool stuff here. It, it integrates, I'll show you guys really quick down here. Pretty much everybody. Um, I use GetResponse. It integrates with them. It works great. But if you're using one of these other autoresponders or email marketing tools, it will work with them. Um, the other thing I wanted to say that's really cool and kind of a unique selling point of this is let me go back up here is the Smart Links feature. So this is right here on their page, and I'll just tell you what it is really quick here. Is one thing I thought that was really annoying is whenever you sign up for a mailing list and then you go back to that website and it's still asking you to sign up for the same thing. I always thought that was dumb and the problem is it's too technologically challenging to know who the user is who already subscribed without having a lot of different things set up and referencing cookies and all this. So Smart Links is awesome. So say you have a list of people, excuse me, who have subscribed to your site. You can then, whenever you contact them, whether, let's say you send out an email, you can have a special link for them where your pop-up won't show up to your current subscribers. So kind of a unique selling point there. Uh, a lot of people haven't been talking about that, but that's really cool. But uh, a lot of this other stuff, A-B testing, smart exit, exit intent technology, uh, everybody else pretty much does the same kind of stuff. They do have some good animations that look really good, um, but that's it. So now I wanna talk about pricing. How much is Thrive Leads? It's priced very competitively. If you start looking at it here, it starts for a single site at $67. That's it, 67 bucks, you get all the features, unlimited free updates, and one year of support. Now, I don't know about you guys, I don't really use support that often. I'm a pretty tech savvy user, and I'm sure you guys are too. So as long as I get the free updates, I don't really care. Because if WordPress updates, you need to make sure that the plugin will update. So. It seems like it's a little bit better to do the five license pack um, if you have multiple websites, but if you just have one website, it's a one-time fee, 67 bucks and you're in. So that's option number one. I really like it, it's a great tool. I've used it a lot on my site, PrestonsCorner.com. You can do some really cool stuff with it. So option number two that I also like is Optin Monster. I really do like their editor. So I have to give them props for that. This is showing off their excellent intent technology and some other stuff. I like their editor, which you can see here where they've rebuilt it to now, this is a web app. So you come in here and you actually log in to Optin Monster. You put the code on your site, it works on WordPress, on other sites, and then you can basically go into the editor and it'll change and you can set all these crazy targeting rules. It's, it's really a great plugin. So if you're thinking, why, why would you use this? Um, it's great, it's got cool, it's got better targeting, it's got some really cool built-in analytics but honestly, it's the same kind of stuff. Look at this, it integrates with everybody. If you're not just using WordPress, Thrive Leads is just WordPress. If you're not using WordPress, if you're on Drupal or something else, this is a great alternative. So, and even HTML websites, which there's a lot of sites that are still using HTML, so that's, that's good to know. Let's talk about the pricing real quick here. So if you go month to month, obviously it's more expensive. If you do the annual fee, um, actually, you know, I would say this is a really good tool, it works. Um, I've seen a few things in, in Thrive Leads. It's kind of glitchy sometimes, but for the most part it works. This one's even better. I've never seen any issues with it, obviously, because it's a monthly fee. They obviously have, I guess, teams and teams of people. So it's really good. You can do a few more things. 
Um, they've got the same kind of yes and no forms. I like it. I like it. It's a little bit more expensive, but I would say it's a really good solid tool to use on your website. So Optin Monster, I also, I really like it. It's just a little bit more expensive, but it's, it's premium. It's a premium tool that you can use. Look at that. There you go. They're showing you it right there. And you've seen this a lot on people's websites, I'm sure. So then option number three is the Bloom plugin, which a lot of you guys might not have heard of. So Bloom is actually part of Elegant Themes. And what does that mean? Well, Elegant Themes is, you know, their main theme is Divi, which you've probably heard of it. I've been playing around with it um, here recently, and it's actually really good. It helps you create modern looking websites. It's a WordPress theme, but it helps you create modern looking websites. It's got a built in page builder. It's really pretty cool, I have to say. Um, but as far as their, you know, pop-ups and, and opt-in options available here, it's pretty good. I would say it's pretty similar to some of the other options available um, that I've talked about in this video earlier, like Thrive and uh, Optin Monster. Basically, you can do pop-ups, you can do fly-ins, you can do inline forms, you can do content below, you can do the widget area. I've tested that one out extensively, that works great. And then you can also do the locked content where you have to subscribe to actually go in. So before I get too much more into this, uh, I wanna talk about pricing. So it integrates with everybody else, like I said, they all do. So, I mean, I really love GetResponse or an Aweber and MailChimp. Those are the three big ones that their core has really been email marketing. So I would go with them. If you get more advanced and you need to use something else, I would, I would recommend Active Campaign if you start getting up there and want to do some more advanced campaign logic. But if you're just starting out, get response is fine. There's a link in, in the description here where you can check that out. So let me get down here to the pricing of this. Okay, so you actually have to sign up today. So they have a couple different options of how you can join here. So you can either pay $89 a year or you can pay $250 one time and you get lifetime access. Now, the difference here that I want to I want to tell you guys between this and Thrive Leads is look, you get lifetime access to all themes, you get lifetime access to all plugins, you get lifetime updates, okay? You get lifetime premium support, unlimited website usage. So like Thrive Limited, you you get unlimited websites, you get risk-free and it's a one-time fee. So if you're in it for the long haul, if you've already got a site that's getting some traction, this is a great option. And I've got a link for this in my bio. So if you're just starting out, here's what I would say for you guys. If you're just starting out, I would say go with Thrive Leads. 67 bucks, that link's also in the bio. I, these are affiliate links. If you guys like this content, then please buy through the link. It helps me make these types of videos. But if you're just starting out, I would say, hey, go Thrive Leads. Test it out, figure everything out, and you can jump to one of these other solutions later. So if you've already got a site going or network of sites, I would say this is obviously the better option. It's 250 bucks, you get lifetime updates, you get lifetime support. Thrive doesn't even give you that. Opt-in Monster, it's great, but you're gonna have to pay that monthly fee. So unless you've got a bunch of revenue coming in from your website, then it's probably not a viable, a super viable option, but it works great. It's a really good tool. I totally recommend it, but Bloom, I don't know, Bloom's pretty good. It's a one-time fee, you get it on unlimited sites, and you also get access to all the themes. So that's what I recommend, guys. If you're just starting, like I said, Thrive Leads, if you're kind of already going and making some money, I would say Bloom is the way to go. But if you're really, if you've really got it going and dialed in, I would say Optimonster Monster is the way to go because it's the most expensive because you're gonna have to keep paying, but it'll pay for itself in the long haul. So that's my review of the three best plugins that you can use to build your list. You guys, if you're not building a list, you've got to start building a list immediately. You know, seeing, you know, the open rates and click-through rates. If you're just posting on social media, everybody's about social media these days, but if you're just posting about, so you know, your content and trying to get interest on social media, it's great. But we've seen better results with email. You know, email is the tried and true. You just have to make sure that your content is relevant and it's, you know, adjusted for your audience, okay? Don't try to don't try to just blast your list with anything. I've seen a lot of people make that mistake where they think, oh, I found this new offer, I'm just gonna blast it out to my list. No, if it's, for me, it's online marketing, so I keep it in that space. So these are three of the best plugins online to start building your list. You do need an email marketing solution to use one of these. 
So you're gonna need to already have that. I use GetResponse, I recommend it. You can grab a 30 day trial in my description link there. But that this is what I recommend guys. Go ahead and get started. If you're not building your list, you need to jump in on one of these tools and start building your list ASAP. It's one of the best assets you can build for your online business. So until next time, uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm here. I will respond to your comments. I love it when you guys get engaged and, uh, and get rolling on my videos and start asking questions. So, hey, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me and I'll see you guys in the next video.